What is up, YouTube? Gunigan here, back out of the My League rebuild, and today we're doing a future rebuild, aka a longish rebuild of a team with maybe a young asset that I will try to focus around as the rebuild. And as you can tell, probably by the thumbnail, it is Taylor Horton Tucker of the Los Angeles Lakers. What will happen in, in a few years once LeBron is old? Because father time is undefeated. Age is undefeated. There's no way the man, unless he's a robot, you never know. LeBron might be a robot. But saw what that ankle injury and then a small little scare in one of his few games back, like... I don't, I don't want to wish it on anybody, but you never know. I mean, once you start aging, your body starts giving up, especially the amount of basketball that the man has played. But I'm here for the Lakers to see what will happen in a few years. In a few years, it might be like in a six-year rebuild, seven-year rebuild, eight-year rebuild, maybe all the way to 10. We shall see how I am enjoying myself rebuilding this team. Obviously, it doesn't need much. Well, it does, actually. But make sure to drop that like, subscribe if you are new, and let's get to it. Here we are in the draft lottery. They did obviously make the playoffs. They were 64-18 and 18 in the first season that I simulated uh, so I could get to this offseason. And they got knocked out in the first round as the number one seed. So uh, a little bit of a yikes there for them, but I will see what I can do. Of course, I'm going to focus on Taylor Horton Tucker, give him untapped potentials and everything else that I can. Currently at a 76 overall, well-rounded wing, 20 years old. And anytime I talk about Taylor Horton Tucker, I always tell people to go look at his damn wingspan. It's it's monstrous. It's monstrous, especially for him standing at 6'4". First move I'm making for this rebuild here. Uh, I, the Lakers honestly do need a lot of pieces. Um, I don't know. Do they have their bird rights for Andre Drummond? I doubt it, right? Anyways, Robert Covington coming to the team. I don't like Covington. Uh, he, he's horrible in the video game. Probably going to switch him to small forward, run LeBron at the 4, Anthony Davis at the 5 if we don't have a center. And I'm kind of doing this because it's, it's a slight move up in this draft. Did download a draft class for this offseason. The only draft class that I will download. And then the other ones we will just keep random. It keeps it a little bit more, uh, I think, a little bit more entertaining instead of just downloading guys that are just going to become monsters. So it leaves it up to chance. It leaves it up to chance. Some players might be monsters. Some players might not. It's a lot more realistic, I think, than downloading a draft class where there's like... 15 studs so we're gonna move up in this draft we're gonna bring in robert covington for a season or two and that's pretty much it that's pretty much it i'll keep covington for now davis is the power forward lebron small forward point guard we could run him anywhere uh Calvo pope sure he could stay for now i guess I don't want to go too overboard, especially since it's going to be a long, long rebuild. Ended up drafting a point guard because we might need that in the future. It's a slashing playmaker. I'm okay with that. We'll give him untapped potential alongside uh, Taylor Horton Tucker. And we will go from there. Of course, we need players to come back if we want to have a viable team to try to at least keep this winning record alive and, and try to get back to the finals before LeBron James retires. Anthony Davis, you know, starts declining and stuff like that. So we shall see if I can make that happen. Don't know how much money we have. Qualifying offers. Talent, you got to stay. Uh, Cook, don't care for. And we go ahead into this free agency. What do we have? What do we have? The, the <laughs> So I guess we do have the bird right somehow of Andre Drummond. And I guess I give him a contract. Four years. 111 is what the Hornets are offering. Trez, same thing. I mean, we might as well just give all these guys contracts and try to have some type of decent team. And maybe try trading them away if we need to eventually. LeBron's decline starts right away. 36 years old goes down one. Davis goes up two. Drummond goes up one. Uh, Dennis goes up one as well. Montrez stays the same. Montrez might be the one out of here for now. And then Drummond eventually if we need him to be gone. Uh, uh, while we slowly improve. Yes, we got Covington here. I might still switch him to small forward and then move LeBron to the four. And just do that. Keep that defense out there. Taylor Horton Tucker goes up to a 77. I need him to go up a lot more. And then eventually, hopefully, it'll be his team. Willie Collie Stein, I signed him just in case I did trade away Montrez. I could still have some type of backup big, uh, legitimate backup big. Caldwell Pope goes up in some areas. Caruso even goes up, even though I thought he was a 75. And then we drafted David Johnson, a young point guard. And we go ahead and give these young guys 
those untapped potentials let's pretend we're in a world where lebron is still very very desperate to get another championship before he retires we start before he starts declining and well why not go ahead get kemba walker uh he hasn't been the greatest with the celtics he uh you know injuries and stuff like that the celtics haven't played that well as well um and they're always having uh that question of who's gonna be their actual big and stuff like that will they find a better big will they trade for a better big rumors of vucevic rumors of getting a power forward in aaron gordon uh you know things like that so we'll, they get Trez they get Trez and they get Dennis to be plugged in with Jason Tatum with Jalen Brown um and then they figure it out I guess we get a younger center and Robert Williams in this trade and then we get a point guard to plug right in right now I do not want to give up David though I do not want to give up David did just give him an untapped potential oh it's because of salary I'll literally throw anything else in though I'll throw anything else in they want two picks two first yeah that's a big yikes. I'll throw in a bunch of second rounders if I can, and then if they will allow it. Uh, Evan Turner, show. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. And they want David Johnson? No. Second rounders. Second rounders. Take Carson Edwards back. Take that back. Take that back. I'll throw in one more. Three seconds. Deion Waiters. Not enough. What? What? The thing is, those future picks might be important to our rebuild. Uh, they want a 2026 unprotected. Carson Edwards is 23 already. He's not going to become some beast. I could give up this 2023 one. Uh, we should still be okay and in the playoffs, and it shouldn't be too valuable. But once we start getting later and later on, Evan Turner, Carson Edwards. There we go. I'll give up the 2023 swap one. It might be worth something. It might not be. Uh, but we're trying to still win another championship. Dennis Montrez gone after, what, a season with the Lakers? Going and getting Kemba, getting Robert Williams as the backup instead. And Carson Edwards comes to the team trying to get LeBron one last ring. One last ring. I could go out and easily probably trade for, like, a Buddy Heald. And that would be an incredible, uh, like, a huge step above Contavious Caldwell Pope. But I'm not going to do it. I don't want to cheese too hard. Don't want to go overboard, give LeBron a, a great, great team. And we're going Robert Williams, Drummond's off the bench. That's what coach wants to do. Wow. Covington's really at his secondary position is uh, uh, what? What? I'm going to go edit the secondary position of Robert Covington because we do have two centers off the bench in Drummond and Willie Cauley-Stein. And I don't want that right now. So we're going to go ahead. Uh, vitals? Secondary position is definitely not going to be center. It's going to be small forward, so he could do that a little bit more. And we're a little bit, a bit of a better bench there. Of course, I could go trade Covington as well. I got to manage these contracts. I got to pay attention to these contracts. Taylor, clearly the big man that needs to come back. Uh, Drummond just gave him a huge contract. Robert Williams. But now Drummond is expendable if Robert Williams is nice. If Robert Williams is nice, Drummond is clearly expendable. Davis out here still on his great uh, long contract. LeBron this year, next season, depending when he retires. And then that's a team option. So we could have we could have a decent amount of change once LeBron is gone, though. Or I trade. Yeah, actually, we could have some change in this offseason. I could trade Drummond away. Robert Williams clearly needs to come back, but it could be on a qualifying offer. And we could, yeah, we could have a really nice chunk of change, especially if we trade away Kemba Walker or he says no and he wants a different contract. But we're going to go ahead and simulate this one. Not take too much of your time here. Seven seconds looks like the best. Oh, balance looks good too, though. We're going seven seconds just because everybody seems a little bit happier in that one, of course, playing physical defense. And we'll see a long, long rebuild of the Los Angeles Lakers losing quite a bit. Drummond now back in the starting lineup. At least the coach wants them back into the starting lineup. So we'll see if that helps quite a bit into this win and loss record that we currently have. And we go ahead. We, we keep simulating. See you guys the end of our first season here. Of course, we're going positive. Will they be the number one team again? Will we lose in the first round like they did in the season that I did simulate? We'll find out. First season has come and gone, and here we are. Nikola Jokic, oh, they were in the finals against the Nets. Oh, actually, they won it, actually, uh, in the season that I simulated. The Nuggets won it. He wins an MVP the following season. Cade Cunningham is the Rookie of the Year. Cole Anthony, the sixth man defense player. Jonathan Isaac, Luke Kennard is most improved. And Frank Vogel, we finished 65 and 17. Number one, once again, hopefully we don't get knocked out in uh, the first round. All-NBA first team for LeBron still being LeBron. And yeah, we keep it pushing forward. Anthony Davis makes an All-NBA second team for us. So maybe he could get another championship before, you know, he starts declining a lot. And uh, he's gone. 
before he starts declining a lot and he's gone. Anthony Davis, all defensive, second team. I don't think our rookie got any minutes, but we sure will check that right here. LeBron, 27, 7 rebounds, 10 assists, a steal and a half. Wow. Wow. 37 years old. Kemba Walker comes in and scores 25 for the Los Angeles Lakers. From 18.7 to 25, he goes back to his best Charlotte season just like that. Okay, the LeBron effect? I don't know. 47, 42%, and 94. Looking like an absolute genius out here. 22 or 23 for Anthony Davis. Seven rebounds, 15 uh, points, and 12 rebounds for Andre Drummond. And the depth is not bad. As long as he's shooting well, too. 41% from three. That's all you really need him to do. Seven and eight off the bench for Robert Williams. Willie Collie Stein, six and three. Covington very inefficient just bring him in and play a bit of defense on on when lebron needs a rest or when anthony davis needs a rest you know tell Nord tucker five and two that's your time will come your time will come this is the guy we're focusing on plus our point guard that we just drafted of course so part 36 10 4 and 5 we'll need that we'll need that just keep getting better Keep giving him untapped potentials. Right now, it says he's at a 79. Now, we simulate round by round and hope we beat these teams because the Western Conference is tough. New Orleans is who we have to go up against. Lonzo at an 85, 88. Zion already a 90 freaking four. And uh, yeah, they're, they're good. They're good. They got Draymond off the bench, which is kind of interesting there. And they get passed. Memphis is who beat us in the first round last season when I simulated. Uh, I, clearly, that doesn't count for us, but it happened. It happened, and I can't ignore it, so it could happen again unless LeBron's just being LeBron. Go up against the Heat two years removed from what uh, the bubble was. Uh, Kendrick Nunn, Tyler Hero, Jimmy Butler, Larry Nance is on that squad. Bam Adebayo, Precious off the bench. Evan Fournier now. It's not enough. Is that enough? That's clearly not enough. They dropped three games in this entire, entire run to the finals. And, well, LeBron James, another finals MVP for himself. Another championship at the age of 37. Another All-NBA first team. When will it stop? I have no idea. Do I bring him back the season that he retires? Because LeBron's staying. LeBron is staying. We have essentially brought everybody back except for, I believe, Robert Covington and maybe Caruso. Don't be mad at me. I know you meme lords are out there, <laughs> but he's just he just didn't come back. Anthony Davis up one. LeBron down three. The decline continues. Drummond up two. Walker stays. He accepted. He wants to be part of this for at least another season because, I mean, he just won a damn championship and he had probably the best season in his entire career so robert williams goes up two Taylor goes up two as well caldwell pope even goes up one david johnson the rookie from last season goes up to a 74 and i guess i give untapped potential to david johnson robert williams and Taylor horn tucker and they could be very possibly the future of the los angeles lakers bench isn't the greatest caldwell pope not the greatest shooting guard still obviously and i mean he won't be but we're gonna keep on running the same old team and hopefully they can get back to the finals if not that's when you start rebuilding a team like you run it back robert williams improves Taylor horton tucker improves now he's the seventh man off the bench he's getting some decent minutes and he'll continue to get more minutes as the years go on and on willie collie stein still here david johnson now the ninth man of the team he's only at a 74 but hopefully he improves he's kind of fighting me though i gave him untapped potential in the first season he was a b plus and then it said he went to a b plus so he didn't really improve there i gave him unta untapped potential in this off season same thing he was a b plus he goes up to a b plus so he's either fighting me not wanting to get better as in like his his untapped potential just keeps getting worse but it is what it is i guess we'll focus on robert williams stan horn tucker and then when the time comes we rebuild this team because and it's coming fast you see what it is with the contracts players are leaving but let's make sure we have a chance for a championship here in this final one of lebron's contract and we clearly bring lebron if he's not retiring and then kemba walker sign and trade a kemba walker sign and trade in the offseason and finesse another team i guess even though that's not very realistic so i don't want to i don't want to like cheat too bad and yes that is cheating because i could most definitely trade Kemba Walker, who will still probably be an 83 in the offseason. And then once the season starts, he'll probably be like an 80 or something. So 
LeBron and company still on top of the NBA. Luka Doncic this time is the MVP. Uh, Herbert Sampson is Rookie of the Year. Spencer Dinwiddie, six-man defense player. Probably going to continue to be Jonathan Isaac, wherever he is. Zaire Williams is the most improved. And Frank, once again, coach of the year. Stuart Warren, I'm guessing that is us. And LeBron, no All-NBA first team. LeBron still makes an All-NBA second team, though, so that's, that's cool. That's cool. He's 38. He's 38, Anthony Davis, NBA third team, and we will go ahead and see any defensive team. Davis is there, and I guess we see if Kemba is still surprising me with his points per game. 24 points per game out here, still balling. If a guy still scores 24 a game, you're probably still giving him another contract, maybe another three years till he's like 36. Until we figure out our point guard issues, right? Because if he leaves, we'll be left with nothing, essentially. LeBron James is a 92 overall, it says. Uh, 25 points, 6 rebounds. Man's getting worse, but he's still a beast physically. So 22 a game for Anthony Davis, 7 rebounds, 15 and 13 for Drummond. Eight for Kyle Well Pope. As long as he's shooting good from three, he's a 34%. Yikes. Uh, Robert Williams ready to take over that starting spot as well. He can rebound. Anthony Davis will need to score a lot more. Taylor has got to come in and score a lot more as well. David, six points off the bench. Not the playmaker that I am looking for. But, I mean, if he goes in there and scores, that's essentially Kemba Walker right there. 20 points, six assists. You run it again round by round to see if LeBron can end it on the high note. I don't know if he's leaving after this season, but yeah, the Memphis Grizzlies are a problem to the Lakers. The season that didn't count that I simulated to get into that first offseason, the Memphis uh, Grizzlies won, and now they beat us in the second round. It is what it is, and the same thing happened again. The Nuggets win it. Jokic wins a finals MVP. Okay, all right. Player retirements. LeBron, not out here. He's not done yet. We bring him back another season. The moves that I made in the offseason, we retained LeBron. We brought him back for one more season. I think that this might be his farewell, his farewell tour. I think he might be gone after this season, uh, but I did give him one year, $34 million. Robert Williams, I gave him the absolute, the biggest bag that you will ever see for him. Um, there it is. Uh, by the age of 29, he's making $38 million. Was that a smart move? I don't know. I need a center, right? So I, tr I just made sure I kept him on contract. Drummond might be gone after one more season or two, right? Or, or two, yeah, yep, two more seasons. So probably say yes to that 32, or he'll go out and want to find a little bit more money. Kemba gave two seasons plus one. He already goes down two overall in this offseason. So we got to figure out our point guard position. We got to figure out our point guard position. Talon goes up another two. Slow two overall improvements. I need more. I need one season of like random four overall. That would be the most beautiful thing ever. Sign Chandler Hutchinson to be a backup. David Johnson, same thing. Caldwell Pope just gave him a one-year contract just to be a bench piece as well. Um, I need them young pieces to continue to improve a lot more. Coach still wanted to start Caldwell Pope. I said no. Taylor Horn Tucker is going to the two. Hopefully he, I mean, he should be good defensively. I think he was a B just starting out, and now he should be a lot better. Or he should be exactly the same at a B. He has not improved in many areas. I, yeah, okay. Okay, I also gave him a huge contract, so he's here for forever. Uh, Kemba Walker, 82 overall. Still my guy. Still my guy right now. LeBron James at a 90. We still have two 90 overalls, an 87 and an 86 off the bench. So hopefully that helps us. We do have a super sub in Drummond. Our bench is not the greatest. If, if we fall a lot, then I will most definitely make a lot of moves. But for now, ooh, seven seconds doesn't look good either. I think we're going to run back. Uh, I'll still leave it on seven seconds. See you guys at this end of the season. Should be season number three for us here. And we just keep it pushing. Hopefully, LeBron gets a championship right here in his retirement year. I think it is his retirement year. And we figure out what we do with Kemba. Drummond, if he, says, if he stays. And we, and we move from there. And we move from there because we do have pieces we can trade away to try to quickly rebuild this team. Luka wins another champ, um, not another championship, another MVP award for himself. So now he has two Kurt Cousins Rookie of the Year. Wait, is that like back-to-back -back for the Rockets with Rookie of the Years? Am I not mistaken? Six man goes to Drummond. Okay, defensive player Jonathan Isaac. Onyeka is the most improved, 21 and 12 for himself. Stan Van Gundy, 60 and 22. Stuart Warren, 57 and 25. That is us. So conference rank three. Number one power rank though. 
Is it just because we got LeBron on the team? Davis, the All-NBA second team. LeBron, All-NBA third team still. So that is great to see. Uh, and then do we have any defensive players? Robert Williams. Robert and Anthony Davis. Yes, I will take that. Rob, let's go. We paid you. We paid you, and he's he's showing out, I guess. He's showing out. We go ahead, look at our stats of our team, and then also look at our um, the team stats, the team stats and player stats. I want to look at this because why are we – our differential is number one. Okay, I guess that's what makes us number one power rank because our offense is not the greatest. We're at 20, and we're running seven seconds. I did not change that. That's not good. That's not good. Anthony Davis does step up and scores 25 a game. Now that LeBron James is at a 90 overall, scoring 22. Uh, he's still getting seven assists. He's still a monster. Those are still beast numbers, especially for a guy that's 39 years old. Kemba Walker, 22 points, 6.6 assists. Drummond off the bench, bro. 14 and 11 for himself. And the sixth man of the year award, Hutchinson, nine off the bench in, I don't know how many minutes, but his per 36 would be 17 points. So not bad for himself. Taylor as a starter, 8.9. Of course, he's not the number one option. We have a lot of offense on the team in Kemba, LeBron, and Anthony Davis. So He's kind of just out there. Make sure you make your shots, but he's not even doing that. Robert Williams, why did you make it an all-defensive team? Maybe the 1.6 blocks and the 11 rebounds, I guess. Once Drummond's gone, he's, those numbers should take up, especially the rebounds. Uh, probably the blocks a little bit might go to two. David Johnson, six off the bench, three assists. That's a big step forward. Per 36 would be 7.8 assists. Yeah, okay, and he's efficient. Not from three, but his field goal percentage is good. Now, is it enough, though? Is it enough for LeBron to retire a NBA champion here up against Houston, who I think had back-to-back -back rookie of the year? They got Embiid. They got Capella back. Josh Green is there. Colin Sexton, Kendrick Nunn. What a rebuild. What the hell is going on? They got Vooch. They have every good big. Oh, I think Kirk Cousins was the rookie of the year for them. Rookie of the year in 2024, and then Herbert Sampson was rookie of the year as well, right? What the hell? <laughs> Y'all cheating. Y'all are cheating. What is that? They legit have every big in the game. They're just, I guess that's their plan. Steal the bigs. And then every team will not have bigs, right? But we get knocked out four to one. Sorry, LeBron. It is what it is. We lost to the champs. They went on and won. And Bede wins an NBA championship. Not with the Sixers, but with the Houston Rockets. Hakeem Olajuwon 2.0. There is LeBron. Not only does he retire, but he retires with his boy, Chris Paul, who was on the nets of all teams to end it. And, uh... Yeah, the LeBron era is over. The Taylor Horton era starts. <laughs> it might be time for the Lakers to become a poverty team for a couple seasons here, but I will try to avoid that. I'll try to still stay in the playoffs as a top seed. I'm going to go ahead and sign Anthony Davis. Give him essentially everything. Everything that he could possibly want. Player option, no contract. Highest contract that you could give him. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that freaking hurts and it's really not that much more than the trailblazers were offering so yeah we kind of have to offer the four-year 190 not only that i am also bringing drummond back but drummond most likely will be a sign and trade candidate here and we will finesse a team i guess i don't want to finesse too badly but it's gonna have to happen it's gonna have to happen drummond and anthony davis come back to my team and we shall see what we can get or drum it maybe even pair him up with Kemba Walker my bulls are atrocious I went through a lot of them and some of them are robberies and trade finder that I found I don't want to do those this one though I mean it could be kind of interesting they still don't have that clearly they don't have Vucevic Vucevic was with the Rockets as long along with every other big in the game um and my bulls look like a poverty poverty team still they're willing to get rid of Lowry now and Kobe White for Drummond and Kemba Walker and a young guy and David Johnson. Now, we don't need David Johnson. If we bring in Kobe White, he's only one year older, but a lot, a lot more of a higher overall in 87. So they get a point guard back that they could start at, oh, that they could start in Kemba Walker, have a backup of David Johnson, have a center to start, and then they still have Zach Levine there. They won't have that four, but I guess we'll have Lowry for a season as a sixth man the bench is most definitely going to be really 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 bad besides lowry and i don't even know who's running my two who's running my two <laughs> the team is definitely not looking the best anthony davis already starts declining uh but like i said he's your one true superstar on your team 
you're bringing him back you're giving him that four year he's technically the heir apparent to uh lebron james right the throne would be passed over to anthony davis he'll be my number one guy and then most likely kobe white or Taylor. i'm i don't know what to run I don't know what to run. Do I run Anthony Davis at the freaking small forward? All right, I'm going to go ahead and plug in Lowry and Rubio into the trade finder. See if I can find anything for my shooting guard position or even just for my bench. If I could get two decent bench pieces instead of just having Lowry off my bench, we're going to do that. Damn, okay, New York is willing to give me Josh Christopher, who's an 80 overall. He's 22 years old already. He didn't even get playing time in the last season, but we're badly in need of a shooting guard, right? I don't want to go rob another team. I've seen other things in the trade finder that I could... Like I said, we could rob teams, man. We could rob teams out here. DeMar DeRozan will be an okay bench piece for now <laughs> for just one season. Hopefully, yeah, one year of 36 million. Josh Christopher i guess our shooting guard of the now and the future lowry unfortunately gone but he's the one piece that had value tyus i don't want to give up time but it looks like we have to it looks like we have to money wise is there anybody else oh my god james harden is an 88 overall 35 years old uh that team looks kind of weird but i guess that's why they want to give him up there's nothing to bring back from that team let's just take it i guess counter offer I'll take a first instead of a second rounder, sure. Just going out here in free agency, trying to find something cheap that I can bring to the team. And I think Royce O'Neal was willing. Yeah, he's okay. So we're going to bring him to the team. If there's any other players that are willing to come to the team on minimums that are like in the 76 overall. Yes, Gary Harris accepted from the Lakers. We need players. We're at 15, so we're probably good for now. And that helps my bench just a tad just a slight bit because my bench is atrocious and without those two guys it would be even worse look gary harris is here royce o'neill we have way too many small forward power forwards now that i think about it so i guess we trade williams and try to get like a big williams and will barton for jaleel okafor who can absolutely be a monster off the bench so here we go kobe white josh christopher taylor horn tucker anthony davis robert williams now i am being dumb i'm making anthony davis my first scoring option and taylor my second i just want to do it for one season i know he's not going to be great offensively he'll probably struggle maybe make our team struggle but we'll do it for one season and when then we'll go back to uh just whatever whoever scores the most whoever wants to take that alpha role but back to our game plan this is what we're running i'll probably give more minutes to my starters especially my shooting guard small forward and then a little bit less to my bench out here because they really don't need it it's not like gary harris is going to come in and score uh derosa might be nice Jaleel will probably be nice scoring wise as well, but we need our starters. We need our starters. Kobe White might end up still outscoring Taylor Horn Tucker. Anthony Davis needs to pull out an MVP type season. Decent starting lineup. Clearly not the best, especially if our bench is this week. We shall see where we finish. Are we a poverty team? Do we need a lot more? Oh, I forgot. Proficiency as well. That matters. We're going balanced because it is four star. Only because Anthony Davis, I don't want to run perimeter centric. And then we give up what Anthony Davis has the ability to do inside. The conference rank is still number one for the Lakers. So even after LeBron, Re LeBron retires, the Lakers are in good hands. It seems like power rank is number three. Giannis wins another MVP though. So once LeBron retires, I guess it's Giannis, right? Abraham Weber is the rookie of the year. Six man goes to Yusuf Nuggets. Jonathan Isaac still winning that. Christopher Most He scores 20 a game. Yo, you know the Knicks are fuming right now. They just gave up a 23 year old that's scoring 20, 4.5, and 4 on 50, almost 40, 90. Yes, he's getting a lot of minutes, but he's a scoring machine. 82 overall, 20. Oh my goodness. Frank Vogel, 59 and 23. Still on top, baby. Still on top. No, he does not make an All NBA first team. No All NBA second team. No, okay, he's there, a All NBA third team. So at least he made that defensive team. Are we out here? Are we out here? Where is Taylor Horn Tucker? That is for sure. Um, let's see what he's doing. Yep, like I said, Kobe White's still gonna score more. He's scoring 25, and he's not even the number one scoring option. Anthony Davis is, and Anthony Davis is number two at 21. 21 for Kobe being an absolute freak. Uh, 21 for Anthony Davis. Josh Christopher scores 21 as well. Taylor scores 19, though. Yo, that's dope. I'll take that. It says he's a scoring machine, too. So 19 from 9 to 19.6 once LeBron leaves. Shooting 40%, 35, and 89. Yes. Absolutely. Now that we also don't have Drummond, DeRozan scores 11 off the bench, which is super nice. 8 and 4.5. Robert Williams getting 14.4 boards. Exactly what I wanted him to do. 
and uh, my bench sucks. So I don't think we're going to be winning a championship. If we win a championship, we win a championship. But, I mean, eventually we should. Eventually we should win another championship, at least before the video ends. That's the goal. And be Actually, Hakeem Olajuwon. Actually, Hakeem Olajuwon wins back-to-back -back championships for the Houston Rockets as a big man that is very, very skilled. <laughs> okay. Like, legit, that's kind of weird. Okay, uh, history repeats itself. There it is, and the Lakers are trying. We're trying. We're still here competing. We just don't have that that bench. It's essentially just the bench. Anthony Davis continues to decline. Robert Williams, I'm pretty sure uh, he was mad because I'm pretty sure he wasn't getting the ball a lot. Um, But, I mean, do I make him a scoring option? Do I make him a scoring option and see what happens? Could it be like Shaq 2.0? He is an 89 overall. He's getting 14 rebounds and he's getting a lot of minutes. Just not a lot of touches. So I might do it. I might do it just to see, just to experiment. Um, but Anthony Davis does go down to a 93. Kobe White goes up to an 89. Taylor goes up to an 83 after just scoring 19.6 points, which is awesome. Uh, Christopher is a monster as well, <laughs> even if he's only an 80 overall. The bench still, though. Not the best. We were able to get Dylan. Jaleel was on a two-year contract, so he's still here. So that at least two seventy-sevens signed Landry in the offseason as well. Chemez, Chemezi uh, also brought him in, and then DeRozan we could give the contract to, so we just gave him a contract just in hopes that he maybe didn't decline, but he clearly did. Just the smallest, slightest improvement to my bench. Bertans is a seventy-six overall. We're pretty much swapping first rounders, and they get Chemezi. We get uh, Davis Bertans and. That's fine. It's fine. My team is still not the greatest. I will give a lot of minutes to my starters once again. But Dylan off my bench is my sixth man. Jaleel is the probably the one that I trust the most because he is per 36, 14, and 7. He still has game in him. Um, I don't know about these other guys, though. So I'll probably go till his contract is up and end this video. See if we can win some more championships here. I uh, just want to see what Talon can become uh, and what the future might hold for this team. We've made a trade for a big in Robert Williams. Anthony Davis still trying to carry this team for a few more seasons before he ends up getting too old and retires. But the bright spot, the bright spots, I'd say, would be Kobe White, who's still only 25, and Josh Christopher, who's only 23. Don't get me wrong. I could make this team absolutely incredible right now, but I do not want to do that. We will go seven seconds or less, and here we go. Both my bigs as my number one scoring options. I just want to see what Robert, w what Robert Williams can do, but... Um, um, I don't know if that's the move. I'm going to, I'm going to watch it. We could watch it together here. Yeah, that's not the move. That's not the move, man. It just is not the move. Even though we just won a bunch straight, I don't think it is the move. So we're going to go to my game plan. Once again, we're going to take that off and we're going to leave it on no preference for all of it. And we shall see, we shall see if we shock the world, win another championship, go ahead and, and you know, gel a lot better as a team. And then just making my two bigs get the ball all the time. Conference rank is still number three. So, like, the Lakers are still doing really, really well. Anthony Davis has shown that definitely he could definitely carry this team into the playoffs. But he can, can he carry it into a championship? That is the question. Kobe White is there with them. Uh, uh, Josh Christopher probably still scoring 20 now. We'll see what Talon falls to. Now that he's not a number one, not a scoring option not a number one scoring option but now that he's not a scoring option trey is with new orleans that's terrifying frederick murphy with the raptors i swear i thought i saw another houston rocket jersey i was like you guys are crazy yusuf nurk is six man uh jonathan isaac goes to atlanta but he's the stale defensive player and herbert's at most improved wow so he won rookie of the year in one of these seasons now he's most improved stan van gunny 62 and 20 joseph 62 and 20 New Orleans on top. New Orleans on top. Anthony Davis is the only team that he makes is the all-defensive team. He does not make an all-NBA team. We shall see where we finish uh, stat-wise. What did we do? What did we do? Kobe White is a monster. Kobe White becoming Kobe Bryant. 29 a game, 7 assists, 50, 40, 90 for him. And 98, by the way. So he really doesn't miss his free throws. God damn kobe what the hell josh christopher 22.5 points as well uh 4.7 and 4.2 so the offense is definitely there anthony davis is at 19 points and seven uh rebounds so his impact is good but like you would expect it to be like returning to his new orleans days 28 and 11 28 and 11 24 and 10 but i guess it's good enough for us currently dylan off the bench 11 Taylor goes down to 10 that's what happens when he's not a scoring option but he still does a little bit of everything 
Still a steal and a half, still a block as well. Uh, 5.3 assists, 3.6 rebounds. Like, I can't complain about that. I'm not complaining about that. I am restless with how things are going. He's not the happiest right now. Jaleel, 8 and 4, 7 for Bertans, uh, 3 for Landry. Do I think this is a championship team? Not really. I don't even want to go game by game because I think that might cause us to even lose a little bit faster. But there we are. And to round two, we're up against OKC, not Houston, who was a champion back to back. They get knocked out in the first round. The team I'm scared of, it's not OKC, it's New Orleans, but I guess OKC for the second season in a row, not them, but for us, we get knocked out in the second round, OKC versus New Orleans, New Orleans just look too deadly to me, they legit just look too deadly to me, they still have Zion, uh, hey, wait, they definitely need, oh, they have Jalen, so they have Trey, Jalen, Zion, Kevin Herter probably off the bench. Uh, they don't look that deadly anymore. I thought they still had everybody else. But how many seasons are left on Taylor Horn Tucker's contract? Anthony Davis, same thing. So he has two seasons left. We'll see if I could win back to back. We'll see if I can. Yeah, everybody's like, okay, I just need to bring Kobe back. Let's see if I could win back to back and the 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 rebuild there. Like I said, going full just goon again now and gonna see if I could get the best bench I possibly can. We're getting Julio Hopkins, a random guy from 2023 draft class. Nine and three is what he did, or nine and six and three is what he did. So he does a little bit of everything. He can stretch the floor as well. Two way inside the arc score, and we're getting Chris Dunn. So hopefully he doesn't decline too much, but he probably will. So I'm probably gonna trade him away as well. Taking a gamble on random guys. Guys that have been in these draft classes 2023 once again pavlo kiba uh we're getting a pick right back they're getting two picks though they're getting chris done and uh, i guess we'll progress and we'll see what happens i think we have everybody signed back so only simulating for two more seasons my boy anthony davis goes down to a 90 and yeah that's pretty much why because <laughs> next season he's gone um and then same thing with taylor norton tucker so two seasons we'll see if we could win a championship by then 290 overalls 390 overalls um, it's just the bench is what has been the issue, but now we have an 80. Uh, we have Dylan, who was really nice last season, so he'll be decent. And we have Pavlo, and, and we keep it pushing. We keep it pushing. So much nicer now. Kobe White at 90 overall. Like I said, Kobe White ended up being Kobe Bryant out here scoring 29 a game. Absolute freak. Uh, Josh Christopher, 83 overall. He could score 20 a game. Taylor Horn Tucker does a little bit of everything. You know, uh, he assists. He rebounds. He steals. He blocks. Does a little bit of everything. If he needs to score, he will score. Anthony Davis, our star that we had from the LeBron era. Carrying over Robert Williams, just being the, the rebounding freak that we need. And now we have Julio Hopkins. Part 36 does a little bit of everything, so he looks cool. He looks cool to me. Uh, Dylan can score, come in and rebound and score. Uh, pa Pavlo gambling just gambling to see if they could be decent bench pieces for us. DeAndre Bembry here, 32 years old, and we go ahead and simulate the season. Because we only got two more. We also have a new coach in Silas. Hell, oh, seven seconds is almost perfect. A specialist in that department. We will see if we win a championship here. I said it before. I'll say it again. Kobe White has turned into Kobe Bryant. 33.6 points, four rebounds, 7.4 assists, one steal a game, 50, 45, and 98. Uh, Mo Jeffries, rookie of the year, six man. Daryl, uh, defensive player, Jonathan. That gets boring, bro. Like 2K, change it up. Alan Wallace, most improved coach of the year. Silas. Did we tie with somebody? But of course, Kobe White, All-NBA first team out of nowhere. Just scores 5 million points a game. And Anthony Davis continues to make a defensive team. So that's kind of cool. That's okay for now. Um, Now we, I want to look at the team stats just to see if we did tie with somebody. We did not. The Rockets did finish one game ahead of us. Our offense, though, is looking decent at number six. Our defense is number one at 109. Our differential is number one. Why is our power rank not number one? Quick player stat check before this season, our final season, 33. You saw Kobe White win an MVP out of... Kobe White won an MVP award. That's wild to me. Josh scoring 25, 17 for Anthony Davis, 12 for Dylan. Robert Williams getting 14 boards. Julio Hopkins getting eight, 6.7 and four. Like, that's pretty beastly. Off the bench, like the rebounds, the assists, that's nice. A block and a steal as well. Taylor goes down to seven points a game. He's probably getting a lot less minutes now that, yeah, from 35 to 31. And it not being a scoring option, his numbers definitely fall. But he's shooting better, which is honestly good for us. It's good for us. DeAndre Bembry is the last guy off my bench. And now we see if we have what it takes 
going round by round, not going game by game to get back past the second round. That is the biggest question for us. We do. And now we're up against a team that finished with one win ahead of us. They won back to back championships. They still have uh, Hakeem Olajuwon 2.0, but we got Kobe 2.0. Um, we might need uh, not Kobe, but we might need Michael Jordan, you know, to stop Hakeem Olajuwon 2.0. But no, we don't. No, we don't. We got Kobe, and Kobe is enough. That's a ball. Romeo Langford, RJ Barrett, Zion. Went, oh, my God. That team is. Oh, ball, ball. OB off the bench. That's a solid team. Um, I'm hoping we finish back on top. And then, you know, one more season to finish it on a back-to-back -back championship like I know we can. Kobe White. Kobe Bryant. There's no difference. There's zero difference. Clutch. 34 in the finals, wins a MVP and a finals MVP, and we go again. If this goes down to an 88, that's going to hurt us quite a bit. That's going to hurt us quite a bit from 390 overalls on our team to just two. With the decline of Anthony Davis, will this team still be enough? Of course, he's got one season left. He's 34 years old. Taylor also about to leave, but we've simulated enough with him to show that, yes, if he needs to score, he can score, but he hasn't needed to, especially with the Kobe White MVP, Josh Christopher being a beast that we kind of stole away from New York. Okay, enough bench hopefully and we move it forward we keep it pushing gonna see you guys at the end of this season last season and hopefully back on top number one back-to-back -back championships i just had to prove that i could win more championships um in that last off season when i traded for a okay bench um because if i leave it up to like the computer the computer isn't gonna do anything conference rank one power rank one but herbert samson he has won rookie of the year we've seen seen him win most improved we now we see him win mvp so there it is celso pessoa or whatever from does it even say it just did doesn't even say where he's from all right uh random player six man of the year jonathan isaac still wins defensive player of the year bro with a different team that's so stupid leslie cox wins most improved and steven si steve steven silas silas wins coach of the year here we go kobe on the all nba third team do we still have a defensive team out here though for our boy we do not but um those 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 bigs in houston bro they're a goddamn problem. 27.6 for Josh Christopher, just getting better. We have two 30-point scores, 17 for Anthony Davis, 10 for Malachi Flynn off the bench, 8 for Taylor Horn Tucker with a little bit of everything else, like always, 8 for Pablo, Robert Williams still getting 13.4 with a block and a half, and then John Hopkins, uh, uh, um, John Hopkins, Julio Hopkins, another guy that does a little bit of everything off my bench. Same thing with this guy, it looks like. And he's shooting really well. Last and final season that I am simulating. We'll simulate it round by round to see if we could just, you know, get past this quickly. Uh, because it should be... Oh! Now we go game by game to see if we can get past these Houston bigs. And will we get back-to-back -back championships like I said we would? Now we're up against Cleveland. Who does Cleveland have? Leslie, the most improved. Gary Trent, not the greatest in 2K. Uh, Isaac is... Isaac's nice. Taylor Anderson... Okay, Jared Allen will get you that double-double with block shots as well. Xavier Tillman, Marcus Smart. Interesting team. I just don't think they should beat us. But they did take that first game, and I'm hoping they don't take any more. They do take more. I might go ahead and have to do simulate with SimCast. Is this more realistic or less realistic? I think our time has come. We're losing. We're losing. We take this game. So now it is 3-2. This is to force the game 7. We are away, but I think Kobe White and our 30-point scores should be more... It's just not enough. I don't see how that team beats us. Cleveland ends up on top. I guess Isaac's too much of an issue alongside that guy that just, like, most improved. I think he was or something. But seven seasons simulated with the Los Angeles Lakers. A little bit in between the end era of LeBron and then the era of Anthony Davis alongside, clearly, Taylor Horn Tucker trying to make him become something nice. He goes up to an 86 overall. We end up bringing in other pieces that end up clearly surpassing him and Kobe White and even Josh Christopher, who is a 30 point score scoring machine out here nice chill rebuild of seven seasons we end up i think with three championships one with lebron and then oh wait no we didn't win back to back two championships in seven seasons which is pretty atrocious in my rebuilds for sure but like i said a little semi-realistic didn't want to go crazy trade for the best players steal the best players out here because We'll do those in 82 and 0 challenges. There you guys have it. Life after LeBron, Taylor Horn Tucker trying to take this team over. Doesn't happen because Josh Christopher is just a freak. And so is Kobe White. See you guys in the next one. Make sure to like, subscribe, and as always, guys, thanks for watching.